Normally, we have to avoid interfering with past or present events as much as possible. But this is really serious, Minibug. In a series that is filled with magic and superpowered beings, the element of time travel is a great tool to utilize when trying to tell interesting and thought-provoking stories. As a plot device, however, traveling through time can get tricky. In the case of Miraculous Ladybug, it certainly makes things more complicated for the series' protagonists on occasion. From creating alternate timelines to allowing people to travel to different eras, time travel may make make a precarious situation worse before it makes it better. The name's Time Breaker now, and I'm gonna go back in time and save my watch, using all you punks to do it! The first time the series introduces time travel, it's when Alex's family heirloom is destroyed and she's turned into the villain, Time Breaker. This episode is likely meant to foreshadow her future role as holder of the Rabbit Miraculous, and it gives fans the chance to experience time travel on a smaller scale. Instead of protecting time like her hero counterpart, however, Alex breaks time by erasing the existence of other people. This terrifying ability transforms someone's existence into minutes that she can use to travel into the past. During their fight, Ladybug ends up traveling to the past with Timebreaker. While there, she requests the help of her former self, and together they team up to stop the villain. In most works of fiction, it's considered taboo to interact with your past self. And while that may not be the case with Miraculous Ladybug, one of the Ladybugs still ends up fading out of existence. Keep your hands to yourself! <laughs> One of the strongest miraculous in the Miracle Box is the Snakes, which allows its wielder to reverse time by five minutes. This ability, while useful, is implied to be incredibly taxing to the wielder. In the episode Desperata, Adrian is initially given the Snake Miraculous by Ladybug and chooses to become the hero known as Aspic. When it comes to reversing time, however, he ends up trying to change an outcome 25,913 times over the course of several months before he gives up. The Miraculous is then given to Luca, who utilizes it with more success, but it may prove difficult to find other capable holders for the Snake Miraculous in the future. Anything goes wrong, the second chance allows you to go back in time to the exact moment you activated it. Got it! Some things should remain in the past, but the akumatized villain Time Tagger chooses to displace objects and people throughout the timeline. If not corrected by Ladybug's lucky charm, his power could do irreparable harm throughout history. In his episode of the same name, Time Tagger moves himself and others throughout time. When Bunnix is asked why she didn't utilize her own power more often, she responds that messing with time can lead to serious consequences. This can be seen when a statue of Mr. Raymere appears after he is sent to the past and becomes a noteworthy knight. If anyone like Time Tagger is able to change history significantly enough, it stands to reason that they could change the entire world. Down, Denver, down! You wanna keep playing, Fluffy Tail? Don't call me Fluffy Tail! In Season 5, Tiki reveals that Miraculous Holders are capable of communicating with those who came before them. In the Season 5 episode, Reunion, Marinette summons Joanne de Arc to ask about possible romances between the Holders. Joanne is able to freely talk with Marinette, but cannot be seen by other people. This is a new ability that has yet to be thoroughly explored in the series, but it seems like it has the potential to complicate things. The advice from previous Holders could be skewed by their own negative experience, and their views may be outdated. Dated. In Joanne's case, she and the cat holder of her time were on opposing sides of a war. This is drastically different compared to the modern-day holders, and some of her wisdom may hinder a situation instead of helping it. Huh? What are you still doing here? Well, what do you think, Poppet? You never ended the reunion. In the fifth season's premiere, Hawk Moth renames himself Monarch and begins to use the new Miraculous at his disposal. The ability to travel through time is one he utilizes immediately, and as he travels through the timeline to find a weakened Ladybug and Cat Noir to exploit. This is when Bunnick steps in to help Ladybug and Cat Noir stop the villain, and it's revealed that any holder of the Rabbit Miraculous can use Burrow no matter what period in time they're from. This means that Bunnix can likely interact with previous holders of her Miraculous while she moves throughout time. In the context of the episode, this means that Monarch and the heroes with the Rabbit Miraculous can engage in a chase throughout time. <laughs> Bunnix explains that messing with time can have disastrous consequences, 
and it's why she refuses to interfere with events. The timeline appears to be very sensitive as Monarch begins to make alternate timelines when he changes past events in the episode Evolution. While Bunnix is there to watch over time within her burrow, she isn't always capable of preventing the danger. This prevents the heroes from using time travel because they respect the importance of preserving the timeline. The same can't be said with the villains, however, and that continues to put their world as they know it in jeopardy as the series continues. Amateur! Time is like a river with multiple streams, and the burrow is where they all come together. You with me? A positive feature of the Snake Miraculous is that anyone who wields it can remember when they reverse time. In Luca's case, he uses the power to fix mistakes, save his friends, and come up with successful plans. His abilities as Viperion are versatile and essential in a difficult fight, but they also allow him to learn some well-kept secrets. Marinette and Adrian go to great lengths to keep their identities a secret, but they're unable to stop Luca from learning the truth during a second chance. While the others don't know their identities have been revealed, Luca's knowledge now places them in danger if he is ever caught by their enemies. Thank you for trusting me. You were the right choice, Luca. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. There have been a few moments in the series where a Kwame uses their power. Their abilities are known to be unpredictable and dangerous. This is especially true when it comes to the snake Kwame Sass, who is capable of reversing time far longer than a few minutes. In the episode Ephemeral, Sass has to use a second chance to prevent their world from ending. He successfully reverses time to the correct moment, but the consequences of his power are catastrophic. People from the past are brought into the present, former akumatized villains return, and other anomalies take over the streets of Paris. His powers manage to throw the entire timeline into chaos, and if he ever needs to use a second Second chance again, Sass could cause irreparable harm. Oh no, there's no going back now. Huh. I hope she knows what she's doing. In the alternate timeline where Adrian is akumatized and becomes Cat Blanc, he destroys the world with a single fatal blast. When Marinette changes the past to prevent that reality from solidifying, she still keeps the memories of Cat Blanc and his destructive power. It's an experience that continues to haunt her, to the point that she dreams about the experience in future episodes. Marinette becomes rightfully terrified of her or Cat Noir becoming akumatized, and she begins to push the other hero away. As time goes on, her own trust issues and paranoia cause a rift to form between them. They bicker with one another more frequently after her experience in the alternate timeline, and it makes it increasingly difficult for them to work as a team. Looking for my Akuma, m'lady? <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest responsibilities the hero Bunnix has is to watch over the timeline. While she doesn't help her teammates defeat everyday Akumas, she does ensure that events play out as necessary. She prevents alternate timelines from occurring and monitors aberrations in history. This is an important role to have and it gives her an edge over the other characters in the series because she knows everything that has and will happen. Not only does she know the destinies of Ladybug and Cat Noir, but she also knows the identity of Hawk Moth. This may seem like a good thing, but she keeps it all to herself. This knowledge is likely a heavy burden to carry. Although she knows that Gabriel is the current Hawk Moth, she can do nothing to stop him from akumatizing innocent people. Or she could risk changing the already unstable timeline forever. It's pointless anyway. I won't even be Ladybug in the future after we give up our Miraculous. Please don't do this, Minibug! While time travel is a fun plot device, it is also a very delicate tool to only be used when absolutely necessary. To the heroes, changing the past may seem tempting, but altering the natural flow of time can have detrimental effects on the rest of the world. Not only could they create alternate timelines with versions of their evil selves, but they could also create aberrations that leave the world forever changed from how it was before. There was no akumatized object! All that's left is her suit. Mm. 